if yeah i said it, i feel like it could be like it, i mean obviously it depends on the situation but yeah okay if he doesn't want his uh girlfriend to go i mean out i feel like some scenarios and clubs would be and very like valid and like understandable but sure. like, i'm sure some scenarios are also pure insecurity okay well so i would say this what i think and i've heard this from a few women um you know they'll say oh that's insecure that's insecurity what you call insecurity i call having a boundary so i think it's just a boundary and i think that's completely fine if a guy's like hey look i have a boundary and i don't want you going out at all and like that's where i'm going to draw the line and like if you don't want to be with me then you don't want to be with me and i feel like it's completely fine for the girl or someone else to be like okay well then i don't want to be with you and that's where we have different boundaries and that's completely fine sure and like i appreciate you setting a boundary but i'm not going to go for it especially the culture at this age like a lot of people go out on the weekends so if you're not part of that you're just it's like what are you doing if he if it's not for a reason that he wants to be with you outside of the party he just expects you to sit at home alone when everyone else is out like socializing or i mean or with him well that's what i'm saying if he wants time with you i think that's totally valid right but perhaps there's a weekend he can't hang out but he still doesn't you know but he wants you just to quit all of it yeah yeah so just to have a relationship between the two of you, not really having other people. Well, you can have friends, but. But they're the, all going they're, out together. Well, I, the, with these environments, people go out to parties, people go out to clubs, people go out to bars. Perhaps not the full and exclusive reason, but a big reason is to meet people. For sure. They're, they're quite literally social gatherings. Yeah, for sure. Because if, if you just wanted to hang out with your girlfriends, you could just, and I know, look, some girls do this, but why not just get a ball of wine, hang out at your house, it's warm, it's safe, it's comfortable, and just hang out. Also, I, if there was like an all, f- I, I mean, I could be wrong, but most women who are single would not go to a bar if it was like only women in the bar. Oh, I would, 100%. Come no, on. I literally saw something on my For You page or like on TikTok the other day where it's like, we threw an all girls party and it was like a band was playing and it was just all girls. I feel like that'd be really fun, like just to okay, go but, for your well, outfit. I, I think some of you might be bi, so maybe that w- wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah. But um, I, w- I would say a lot of. Uh, oh, here we go. Dragon Thank you, Dragon. One thousand and one super chatted fifty dollars. Did it ever occur to any of you that he is trying to protect you from getting into bad situations that will kill your relationship? So, I, I mean, my recommendation to men is is just don't be in a serious relationship with a woman who doesn't realize the importance of limiting their own behavior to protect the relationship. Yeah. Like, I don't know, if you respect your partner, you don't engage in activities essentially designed for single people. I, but I think that the bar and nightlife is just part of young people's culture. I mean, I, I wish it wasn't. I wish more people weren't drinking so much and I wish there was more like outdoor activities to do. But like in New York City, that's the main things to do. You don't go on hikes. So if other people, if everyone else is doing it, I feel like going out once in a while is just like not, it's not something that's going to kill your relationship. Like you could be put in situations where a guy comes up to you and flirts with you because yes, but that can happen anywhere. I mean, I get approached at the doctor. So you can, as a girl, you can be approached anywhere by a guy flirting with you. Yes, that's that's true. What about Oops. what about if you're in her situation where she's sober? Yeah, no, she's true. very well aware, and I'm just—it's just a general question. She's very well aware of her surroundings. She's very well aware of what's going on around her. Would a guy feel more comfortable if their girlfriend, wife, fiance, significant other was sober? Would that be a difference? It it helps a bit. I mean, me personally, I really don't drink. I don't smoke i don't do drugs i don't go to the bars i don't go to the clubs i don't go to the parties so just on that one metric alone i want reciprocity uh in a partner but i mean it's definitely a, a pro for me if a girl like doesn't drink or drinks in moderation drinks rarely um but it's it's better than her going to the club and getting fucking tanked but it's still for me it's still a little bit like iffy you know um so yeah um but you mentioned like you get hit on at the doctor right like Mm -hmm. i'm sure i don't know if any of you go to like trader joe's yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. 
maybe you get approached. I don't know if you've been approached. Yeah. Maybe, mm-hmm. right? You've been yeah. approached at mm-hmm. TJ's. Okay. So, yeah, you can, like, I'm not, I wouldn't say, like, oh, you you can't go to Trader Joe's in case some guy hits on you. It, it has to do specifically with these very, very specific environments, which there's alcohol involved. There's, I mean, there's partying, there's drugs. Um, people do go to these environments, both men and women, mm-hmm. not all of them, but do go to these environments with the intention of maybe hooking up, maybe getting laid, maybe meeting somebody. Mm-hmm. Whereas nobody goes to Trader Joe's on Tuesday at 3 p.m. Like, man, I really hope like, I meet a dude at fucking Trader Joe's. Like, no, you you don't have that intention in mind. But if you go to a bar and a club and you're single, like, there's somewhere in the back of your mind where it's like, oh, I might meet like a really hot guy tonight. Like, th- there there is that component to it. And even if there's not, there's a much greater likelihood mm-hmm. that well, it's almost it's not a likelihood. It's almost a certainty if you go to a party, bar, or club that a guy's gonna hit on you. A guy's gonna approach you. So even if you're in a relationship, like guys are still gonna. <laughs> are going to hit on you and you could potentially be put in a compromising position. Mm -hmm. Um, Also, um, I don't think any girl has ever gone to Trader Joe's and gotten finger banged by some random hot dude she met in the frozen food section. Well, I'm hoping people in relationships aren't going to bars and getting finger banged in the bathroom. No, but but the, the difference between like Trader Joe's, like going out to Trader Joe's and going out to a bar or club is, for example, if you're single, I've seen some shit. I'm sure you guys have seen some shit at parties. Mm -hmm. People fucking on couches in the middle of the party. Dude, I've seen some crazy shit at parties, (laughs) bars, and clubs. So people ain't like, it ain't going down at Trader Joe's at 3 p.m. My father goes to Trader Joe's to get to pick to up To get some women. pussy? Yes, <laughs> for sure. Okay, well, your your dad's a fucking legend. Good for him. Yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> okay. But uh, it's, it's just such a... <clears throat> Bars, clubs, and parties are such specific environments where people go with the perhaps anticipation that they're going to meet someone. And, and I would also add to this, 